Hello, my friends. Morgan Gecko here again. I just wanted to show you what I hope to be my last redecoration of my apartment here on Calypso at the Omegaton West TP. They have four or five apartment buildings and uh, I'm sure that they have a bunch of empty apartments in there but it's not very often that you see any apartments anywhere come up for sale so uh, I happen to have one had it for a few years haven't done anything with it to be honest Except for storage, there really isn't anything you can do with an apartment. Once upon a time, long time ago, they were used for some socializing, and the game was a lot more social back then. People hanging out together. We had radio stations or People that were live streaming and 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 uh, playing music and such, and having dance parties, and ah, the good old days. It was exciting back then. But there are a lot of people here in these apartments that I suspect have had their apartments since then, and. They may or may not be playing anymore, and they're just holding on to their apartments, you know, for speculation or who knows why. But anyway, I want to show you mine. I'm, I'm pretty proud of it now. I've changed it a number of times here lately. I think I finally settled on a look. So we're going to go down here. We're going to go to the Gamma building. It's easy to find. That's what a Gamma looks like right there. But I didn't really know that. And probably there's a few of y'all that don't know that. So it's right across from the service center which is easy to find. It's the only service center down here. We're going to go inside. We're going to go to the elevator. We're going to go up to the fourth floor. Do, 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 do. And mine happens to be letter E. Just uh, uh, some information about uh, these apartments here. As you can see, we've got A through H. And of these, four of them are, are uh, the same floor plan. Three are of a different floor plan. And then they've got one that is that the largest of the bunch. Uh, let's go in and see mine. Mine is the small size. We come in here and let me explain something as we're going in. Let's look at the... Uh, The information here gives the owner's name, 
which this one is mine. Public access, I don't have it restricted any at all, so anybody that wants to go in and look around is free to do it. So y'all come on down if you want to. Uh, you can have up to 20 guests at a time. I'm not sure what this item trade available means. Uh, you can have up to 120 items on display or, you know, as furnishings in your, your uh, apartment. I've got 80, so I'm two-thirds of the way there. This is a kind of a universal format that they have here. It says, item points in display area. Well, it's zero of zero, or I have zero of zero possibilities. Item points in additional area. Z zero of zero. And then, do I have an additional area? No. Over on the Arcadia, uh, with all the apartment houses that they have over there, they've got a shop on the first floor, usually. And then apartments above that. And the top apartment has an additional area. Uh, if you own the top apartment, then you also own the roof. And you can put stuff up on the roof. You can have, you know, a pergola up there or a party tent, whatever you want, you know, up to X number of items. And if it's like these, this over here, uh, your maximum is a single digit number. There's not a whole lot you can do decorating wise with nine items or less. So it, it may be different over there. I had never really looked at it. In the display area, uh, in my apartment over there on Arcadia, you uh, walk in and there's an ante room and you can put, you know, nine or ten items as decorations in your your entry area and then you go into the main main thing here so let me show you what i've got this is a let me stand in the center and we'll just do a look around I got my inspiration, if you want to call it inspiration, from the apartments over on Tulan. Uh, over there, carpets are a big thing, which it being of a kind of a Persian theme, Middle Eastern theme, carpets are a big deal, you know. And they've got some nice ones. That's where all of these came from. Except for that one on the floor right there. And that's the... The... Uh, I forget what it's called. But it's, it's a large stripe carpet. They also have a... S smaller one. Large probably 
doesn't pertain to the size of the stripes. It's the size of, of uh, the, the rug itself. One's just bigger, so one is large, one is small. I also have two on the floor here with uh, some furniture from Next Island. I picked that up along with uh, the, the matching coffee table. You can also get this stuff in blue. And I'm trying to get a couple of the blue chairs to go with with some uh, carpets that I'm going to take back over to Arcadia. And I'm going to redo my place over there. But uh, over on Tulan, in order to color they, their walls, they hung up their their carpets horizontally and that looks nice but the walls are such that you have have s s space that's unused on the carpet because it sticks out the end of the wall and it may or may not stick out into a public s s spot, like out in the lobby. I'm sure that there are places mm -hmm. where, you know, if it sticks out in into a wall that on the other side of that wall is a public space, you may have an unsightly chunk of carpet sticking out there. So, uh, and I apologize for saying so all the time. It's a bad habit I've got. Uh, what I did is I used this, this carpet here, which I, I need to get my stuff back up here so I can see. Uh, come on. I want to see what the carpet is. It's showing me the names of the the uh, artwork. I don't want to see the names of the artwork. Let's do this. Ah, still showed me the name of the artwork. I don't want to see that. Come on. One more try. No. It... So anyway, I took this carpet here. Uh, which you cannot modify this carpet. Its color, its design is what it is. But I stuck that up there because I, I would be able to get three of my pieces of art horizontally across there. And then on either side, and also around the room, you'll see that I, I placed my carpet vertically. Let's see if we can get the. Yeah, and I don't want to click on it because it'll. It, Gives me the name of the artwork. It would appear that if you have a piece of artwork on the wall, that the 
the the the programming gives that piece of artwork this whole space here and uh, you know the, the only thing that you're able to see is the picture itself but it's on a plot of of graphics on the screen that ex extends above and below it so i should be able to see it shows me the picture still so anyway i digress i'm sorry uh i use the carpet vertically and sort of evenly sp spaced it throughout the room and put one picture on each one and like these four are from arcadia this one is from ancient greece This is an old one from Arcadia. And then I, I it, somewhere I have another version of this one here. This is the large picture and I think there's a smaller version that chops it off right here or something. I haven't seen it in a while. hadn't even thought about this stuff in a while. But as you can see, I continued the the mm -hmm. motif, I guess, on around to these walls. And there's that large striped carpet. And then I had a few plants. These are calypso star plants in white and bright red two of each over here these this one and this one over here are the same and it is as, as you can see right here it's the bordered mosaic carpet and you can color it and you can also add texture to it if you find a texture that has a color that you prefer and it lays or lies relatively flat on the carpet so it doesn't you know look big and fluffy you can use that to color the different fields but it's got three fields it's it has uh, the border all the way around it's got this spidery looking stuff in the center and then these fields you know they're the third field and you can color or texture each one to your heart's content. I tried to do these two the same way. I I I uh, made sure that the carpets didn't have anything on them. I, I bleached them before I colored them. I used the same amount of color. For each field and because my coloring skills and texturing skills are pretty low I mean you, know, you can get a lot lower but I'm still in in that first grading of it uh, 
if you were to put them side by side, it would be obvious that this is the brighter, better job. But, you know, if uh, you separate them, you might not notice unless you, you uh, were told. I have uh, the Wally shelving. This is an an old Calypso item. I don't know how how many years I've had two of these, and I thought I'd use one in this apartment to display some of of my pets. All of these have been tamed. I just need to, uh, well, I'm not sure all of them can be taken off planet. But I know that one can. Uh, and I, I think the rabbit can. These guys can. The rest of them, I don't know. They probably can. Uh, I had two of these Nalo ceiling lamps in storage, and they'd been there for years and years and years. I decided that I'd get a third one to light up the space here. It seems to do a pretty good job. These carpets that are on the floor. I Initially, I had one carpet, and I had everything moved over to where, you know, all four pieces were sitting on the carpet there. And it, 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 it looked okay, but it left a big bare area behind. Or if you move this to the center of the room, it it just looked like you know it was an island and there's big old sea of whatever the hell this stuff is on the floor here. And so on auction there was another one. Uh, and so I picked it up, laid them side by side. It pretty much made a square. And so. It appealed to my need for symmetry. Uh, these things are both a hundred percent. You know, I, I I brought their appearance up to a hundred percent. And yet, this one looks a little richer than this one over here. Some of this probably is because it has a light sitting right here. Same thing for over there. And it, it, it just appears that, that there's a color difference. But still, there's nothing you can do about it. Something else that I did, and I kind of wish I hadn't. I should have spent the pad on something a little more practical, but I saw that there were some mannequins on auction. And... They hit me just at the right time. I had the ped, they had the mannequins. And so I've, I actually, actually have four of them. I al already had three and for the life of me, I can't remember why I bought the first one, but I got three of them and I'll be taking the other two over to Arcadia to put in my place over there. Uh, 
I, I have some weapons that I want to put up on the wall. I just happen to have this axe with me. This is one of those Rocktopia axes. And in order to put those on the wall, you have to have something to hang it on. And that's what these, as you can see up above it, it says small green display panel. They have some that are even smaller. So if all you wanted to do was to display a pistol or a pair of knives or something, you know, you'd have something that didn't have this great big field here. But as you may have seen in one of my other videos, I have several of these things on the wall and I have a collection of these uh, Rocktopia axes and a few guns and a few swords and, you know, just a way to get them up there. Usually, except for things like the axes, uh, the guns that I've got hanging up are things that their requirements are so high that I'll never be able to use it. But whoever owned it at the time put it up on auction with a dirt cheap price, and I I just got it, got them for pennies the only other thing in here I believe is this window seems sort of bare and right now you can see the the uh, Blazar fragments and the Nova fragments. You can see them fairly well. There are times of day when these things are washed out by the sun. And if you didn't already know they were there, you wouldn't notice them. But at night, you can turn off the lights Turn off. It's not turning on. There we go. Hitting the wrong button. And uh, we'll walk around behind here and look. During the day, because there's a light background out there, you, know, you can see the one in the middle. You can see that one over there because there's a darker field behind it. And same thing for that one. Uh, during the day, you don't really notice it. If you happen to be in, in here at night where it's dark out there, then you have, you know, these nice twinkly fragments sp spinning around and you know, it's just a little, little bit of motion on what could be a wind chime, you know, it just looks pretty. Turn the lights back on. And then the last thing, I mean, here, I'll show you what this other guy looks like. I just put some stuff on him that I already had. You know, this guy over here, he's, he has some Next Island shorts and a 
sword that I picked up years ago. Same thing for him, but I have some clothes or some armor, I think, over on Arcadia that I'm going to put on on uh, the ones that I, I'm taking over there. Uh, let's see, the one thing that I was going to tell you, what was it? I can't remember. I'm sure it was real important. But, uh, if you have an apartment, if you have the discretionary funds on your ped card to where you can afford to piddle around with stuff like this. It's, it's, even though nobody's going to see this, I feel kind of proud of it. I, I think it all looks pretty good and it's going to stay like this. And except for my brother, uh, And if I hadn't wanted to tell you his name, I could think of his name. I, I, I need to confess to you guys that uh, well, let's face it, I'm an old man. I am old. I'm closing in on 80 years old. And my memory is horrible. It's getting worse by the month. And there will come a time when I won't know how to play this game anymore. I, I, I'm having issues with the latest keyboard changes and command changes that they, they changed everything to. But uh, Captain Spaulding, that's my brother's name. If you happen to see him out and about, give him a holler and tell him that you saw this video. Uh, he has an apartment in this building somewhere, and it's, it's exactly like this. His just has has boxes in it and, and, uh, storage cases and, you know, it's just a big closet for him. I, I'm not as practical and I decided to do this and you too can do this. If you have a wad, a ped that you're not needing. Of course, the good thing about this is uh, it may be because of my action on the the uh, auction of, of buying these carpets. All of a sudden, there's a lot more carpets on the on the market than there was when I first started doing this a few weeks ago. So there are some nice ones out there. Let me let me see if I can find that. Yeah, this has a Nope. I would like to show you the, uh, the 
it may be in my planetary storage. I'm sure it is. I bought a carpet the other day that Open vehicle inventory, that's what I want. Not there. I'm sure it's not here. Not there. Not there. Pretty sure it's not here, but nope, it's not. One of the uh, other mannequins that I I uh, have is a female. She's attractive, but not good looking. But one thing about these mannequins, they are strictly mannequins. The, 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 the main difference between a mannequin and a shopkeeper is, as you can see here, he has on some shorts and he has on a, a sword. He has nothing else. You you can't save anything else. If 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 you were to put a hat in this guy. It's going to make him wear that hat as opposed to a shopkeeper that you're able to put stuff on, but you're also able to store items in that shopkeeper because uh, hopefully people are going to come into your shop or or they're going to see your shopkeeper standing outside property of yours and they'll be able to click on him see what he has in storage and say ah I want that and then you you're able to buy that but if I clicked on that guy now he would just go back to standing around in his underwear so so for for display purposes you know these guys are good but uh if i tried to put a uh suit of armor on him I believe that the clothes would go away. If I put the armor on him and then I took the armor off, he'd be standing here in his underwear and not in some shorts. So anyway, that's way more than I wanted to spend time telling you guys about. Like I said, this is my place. If you're interested in in uh, fixing up an apartment, you know, just because you have the discretionary income, 
<coughs> this is what you can do. Oh, it's it's kind of interesting. I don't know if you can see behind that picture or if that's simply the edge of it. Ah, anyway. That is my Calypso apartment. I already have one up for my Arcadia apartment. I would encourage you to go over and take a look at that because what I have right now looks good. But I'm going to have a, a, a newer video up for it here before too long and uh it it will have some other carpets that i i i uh picked up to use i wish i could find some good furniture i've seen it in other apartments but and i've seen it on auction before but when I see it, I don't have the pad to get it. So, uh, one of these days, the stars are going to line up and I'll be able to get some good shit. Anyway, I'll let you guys go. I appreciate your time if you made it all this way. Uh, if you see somebody that bailed out early on this video thank them for at least click it on it and looking at it for a little bit until next time y'all take care and uh adios amigos